Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. This is fan mail unboxing number eight. Now we got a nice size package here coming all the way from South Dakota from a longtime subscriber by the name of John. He's a big, big catfish guy, so I wonder, wonder what could be in here, right? Well, we're gonna check it out right now. It's taped pretty good, so we're gonna bring out the knife, cut her open, see what we got here. Always gotta cut away from yourself so you don't cut into yourself. Ah, Should have used the knife, but I, I think I'm really strong, so here we go. We got got the letter on top here. Dear M. Hood, here is a few things I thought maybe you could get use of. Some of it is new, used, and old. Some came from the store and some came from rummage sales, but all seems in good condition. The cast master I use to use a lot ice fishing and since I don't do that anymore, I thought you could use them. Enjoy. Thanks for all the thanks for all the great videos you you made, John. All right, thanks, John. That was a nice letter. Now let's whoa. <laughs> Look at that. There's a lot of stuff right there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh. Let's just get at it. Oh, yeah. Definitely could use those hair jigs for sure. Check those out. Good, good, good. Nice little lipless crankbait, little tiny rattle trap. Check that out. Whoa, there's a lot of hair jigs in there. This is an awesome box, John. You really stuffed it. Oh, bales. Got us some. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me open, open this. Open this up and take a look at it. I think these are little circle hooks, but I want to try to get one out. Man, these things are spaghetti together. It looks like about an ot two, two or three circle hook. Nice. A whole bag of those. You can use those in winter when I'm rolling with smaller baits. That's awesome, thank you. More bells. We got us a dog. Look at that. A dog joining us. This is Tulsa. We got some uh, white curly tails by Yum. Definitely use those here soon. Some more white curly tails by Yum. Whoa. One inch minnow spin. Roadrunner, Roadrunner. Roadrunner jig heads, yay! Oh, some nice uh, size four octopus hooks. Some of those true turn style crawler hooks. Ooh, ot sixes, good for catfish, right now. More, uh, more crawler hooks. Oh, wow. I really like this company. Some really, really tiny hooks by them. You used to catch, uh, different things. I really like that hook company. Oh. We got, like, a huge package of size 7 circle hooks. 7 knot. Definitely use those soon. What are you doing? Tulsa's going through my little pile of stuff here. More worm hooks. Eight dot circle hooks. Well, these are massive too, as far as the diameter of the, the hook. 
Look at that, look how thick that is. That is a nice, strong hook. I'll use that here pretty soon. Those, those are nice. Some uh, knot protectors, those are good. It's totally out of those. Double action size fives, hot five team catfish hooks. Uh, eight team catfish hooks. I don't think I'm going to run out of catfish hooks in a while. Not now. Hot sixes. Hot eights. Whoa, John, you outdid yourself. This box. I'm not even halfway through this box. Hot fives. Four hot. Three hot. Seven hot. Six hot. Three hot. Whoa, what's that? Yeah, three hot. I think there's more hooks down here, but let's let's break for something else here. Here we got some uh, swim baits on jig heads. Those are pretty cool looking. Check those out. Use those when I make a run up to the chain around Madison. Ooh, slip knots. Yeah, here's the cast masters he mentioned in the letter. Whoa. Love Castmaster spoons, and that, there's quite a few in this little Ziploc bag, different sizes. Some of those would be awesome for the river when you out in the boat, <clears throat> the heavier ones. Not so much for throwing off the bank. He wanted me to try this on Gar. This is a slip float with a steel leader and a weight. There's some other teethy fish that I think I could use this for both in stuff like that all right some more eight dots eight dot circle hooks there's some walleye swim baits but these would be awesome for white bass and other things when you need to throw a chartreuse bait to get through that dirty water pack of the same type of bait Chartreuse swim baits. Oh wow! Some twenty-pound slime line. That is awesome. Been wanting to switch over to something like this. Green line is very visible in the video, and to my eyes as well. Oh, some chartreuse spinner blades. Make your, make your own spinner baits. I don't know what ought these are. I would, I'm going to venture to say that it got us a bag of two or three ought circle hooks. I could be wrong. They might be four ought. I don't know. Tell us, John. Now, we are definitely, wow, whoa, definitely halfway through this, halfway through this box. Wow. You sure did send me a lot of ADOT hooks. Definitely, definitely get a lot of use out of ADOTs. I, 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 was, I had like three left. I have three ADOT leaders tied up in a box back there. And that's, those are the only ones I had. So I'm not low now for sure. Thank you, John. I, I can't say that enough. Awesome. Those are an off-brand ADOT that he was telling me about. But look at this. Look at that. I think these are an off-brand off -brand sinker slide as well. They look pretty heavy-duty. I have some other ones that I've been using that I like, but they're not as heavy-duty as these. Check those out. The plastic looks really strong. 
I'll do a video about the ones I'm using right now that I got off uh, got them off Amazon for like a bag of 50 or something and they were really cheap and it, they work okay they're not big enough to put a weight on you have to bend this part out to get your weight on and it works fine until the weight gets stuck into something I'm not talking about the this particular one I'm talking about the ones I've been using your weight is stuck in a rock and you pull it always breaks right here so you lose your lead but you keep the rest of your rig so it's the only thing maybe these are stronger definitely happy about these John Jeez, they're, they're just so expensive the, the name brand ones name brand lead and catfish hooks and lead trolleys all y'all know it costs you an arm and a leg and then you start losing them you get to a place like some of the spots I've been fishing lately super super snaggy and you're looking at like what like four or five bucks for a package of like three or four something like that it just starts hurting you when you every time you hit a snag you're like oh losing money all right here we got some 10 pound spider wire 300 yards braid some more 10 pound braid sorry I'm not fading I was just thinking about that braid got some oh awesome 30 pound braid by Trilene nice this is mono. I'm sorry, did I call that braid? <laughs> 30 pound test mono. Maybe I am fading. And here we got some more trialing. This is 50 pound mono by trialing. And that is the end of this box. Not the end of this video quite, but almost. Man, John, you outdid yourself. That was quite the box to go through. And I'm happy with every single item. I thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. Just to, I'm just glad none of that smelt like bacon because the whole time that coonhound was over here sniffing it. Now she's over there. She don't have any hooks in her mouth, so that's a good thing. She's really not that bad of a dog. So, yeah. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. I love you for it. I want to see you next time. i got to think about fishing. Got rain and a front coming through, so yeah, you're right.